Hi, my name is Joseph and today I wanted to talk about an order, a purchase I made from Premium Bandai, the US site, not the Japanese website. And the reason why I'm making a video about this is because I don't think I'll ever be purchasing through Premium Bandai again. I know I should say never, uh, but the reason why I say that is just because this was a special circumstance. These items was re-added randomly, there was no announcement. And usually most new items that I purchase from um, Bandai because of Japanese items, um, I can't really utilize Premium Bandai US's website. And anything that does pop up on the Premium Bandai Japanese website, I usually wait until it's either posted on Zenin or Japan You Watch because I want to order multiple items. And for some reason, Premium Bandai, uh, sometimes it does have the pre-order items for the Premium Oni items, but not for retail Oni items. At least when I was trying to look at it, that's what I saw. Um, and these items, I do own them already. And the reason why I decided to purchase them again is just because I don't mind owning them unsealed. And also because I do have a slight story which I'll get into as I pull out these items. So again, I purchased this from Premium Bandai, the US site. And this is how the box came in. Pretty uh, inconspicuous, not too flashy, which I personally do not mind. And then here is the top. All right, so I already opened it. Um, and the inside, I'm not going to lie, I was aware that Premium uh, Bandai, uh, the Japanese site, when they send items, they usually send it uh, a box within a box. So I was kind of hoping for that, but <laughs> the inside just came in like this with some peanut. They're not called peanuts, are they? Uh, excuse me, I think the peanuts are just the soft ones. These are the ones filled with air. Let's see the, um, a, were just packs, air bags, I suppose. I was hoping that the name of these would be listed, but no, unfortunately it's not. Um, so yeah, I did take out one already and I did throw it away before I realized, hey, maybe I should make a video about this and then throw out the uh, packaging uh, uh, accessories, or rather the packaging material to transport the item safely. Excuse me, lost my train of thought right there. So this, 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 this did come in yesterday, excuse me, stumbled over my words. This did come in yesterday. I did open it, but I left everything inside of it and I just threw away that one uh, bag of uh, safetyness. <laughs> I don't know the official term for this. But again, so let's take these out. So there's one right there. And then here's an item. And then here's the other item. And then lastly, my last item. All right, so obviously you guys saw what was what they were as I was putting them out. But I also just wanted to show, so it came in three um, soft airbags. I helped to cushion the items, the packaging, uh, the contents inside, and they came in really fine. Nothing was bent or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get the box out of the way. And now let's look at the items themselves. So this one uh, was added at the last minute. And the only reason why I decided to add it was because it was only about 30 bucks, I think it was, or uh, yeah, I think 30 for a set of four. And usually this one's 35 by itself, just these two. Uh, for whatever reason, Premium Bandai was selling them in, in bundles. And kind of weird bundles in my opinion, like who would have thought that uh, the adventure set would be packaged with the uh, Valium 3, I believe it's Valium 3, excuse me, the Valium 1 set for Blizzard Fang and Volcanic Beat. Um, in addition to that, uh, so this is one, the really the real reason why I wanted to purchase this. So again, these came bundled. This item came with Epsimon and Ryudomon. But then the main item, the main attraction was the Stingmon Holster set. So these is quite this is quite an expensive item that one shot before premium bandai we added this to the stock and these were going on ebay for about one would be fortunate to get it for about 150 without shipping and handling and this was only 40 bucks <laughs> so again it's a really great deal and it came with another set of um dim cards as well and the last purchase that i made from premium bandai was again this like with the steam on hoster this is another set that's quite expensive if one is able to get all, well, it's actually just two sets, but a total of six items. If one is able to get this bundled together uh, for um, about 100, 150, that's a decent deal. But usually they're sold separately. What I'm discussing is the Spirit Flame, so the Frontier cards, and then the um, Spirit Light. And I got both of these, I believe it was $60, which again is a really great deal because usually just for one of them, it's about $80, and for both of them, it's about it could be 100 or even more than that. Um, so again, the reason why I decided to make these purchases, <laughs> I know some might hate me for saying this, but um, primarily, uh, well, two reasons. The first reason being because I do want them, I'm not gonna open these ones, I'm just gonna keep them on display, as I'm going to keep them as display pieces. But additionally, 
The reason being because I do really like my vital bracelet. And one thing that I am concerned about though is in the future is what happens if my cards stop being read. I do know I could probably buy fake ones from Etsy.com. Not Etsy, excuse me, AliExpress. But those fake cards are usually about 15 bucks, 10 to 15, sometimes $20. Um, these are real pieces, authentic pieces, just for 10 bucks more. So if worse comes to worse, I at least have a backup just in case. But these are primarily going to be just as display pieces. Uh, and the reason why I have those slight concerns is because my current um, Ferrymon DIM card that I have, for whatever reason, when I put the, the card into my vital bracelet, it's quite stiff. It's really stiff, and I don't know why that is. I don't have that issue with any of the other DIM cards. It's just specifically uh, the Ferrymon. And that's essentially it. Um, so yeah, so again, that, that was the reason why I decided to go ahead and make these purchases. Uh, it was twofold. The first one being just in case anything happened in the future with my current DIM cards. And the second reason being um, as display pieces to keep them um, sealed and un unopened. So one might be wondering, well, Joseph, doesn't that open a can of worms? Are you going to be doing that with the BE memories as well? And no, I'm not going to be doing that because another reason why I made that choice is because I'm not going to lie, one of the cool aspects about the DIM card, so again, the DIM cards are from the Vital Hero slash uh, Vital Bracelet before the BE, is how they came with these awesome little, essentially kind of like trading cards. And I think that's really cool. I'm not the only one with that opinion. It seems like to be a popular opinion on, um, on um, the in the community, excuse me. <laughs> um, just trying to display them. Uh, the new BE memories, for whatever reason, they do not come with these cards, unfortunately. And yeah, so that was one of the primary reasons uh, that I'm only going to be doing this with this set and not with the BE memories. I just realized why don't I just go ahead and take them out from the plastic bag. That would probably help a little bit with the reflection. Never mind, I was incorrect about that. <laughs> Which I suppose makes sense because it was to be reflective. Actually, I think the reflection is clearer without the bag. Anywho, um, but yeah, so that's the reason why I made these purchases and I, w I wanted to share my purchases with the um, with the community just because again, this was my first time ordering through Premium Bandai and um, it's just really cool. Uh, usually I just order through the traditional online stores. So it's really interesting to see how other stores package their items. I loved how Premium Bandai did package everything. I do wish it came in flat. Uh, but they all came in standing. But despite that, ooh, I'm looking for the, these. Despite that, though, they did put these in between them to make sure they weren't jiggling about or, uh, well, yeah, moving about, wiggling about inside. And, uh, and yeah, so it was packaged quite securely. I do appreciate that. That's essentially it that I have for this video. Um, if there's any questions or concerns, please do let me know. Uh, what are your plans with the DIM cards? Are you planning on getting DIM cards as well? Or only getting BE memories? Or are you like me and you have both sets, or at least what's been released so far? I already do have the uh, Holy um, Wing and the uh, Holy Wing and the Forest Guardian, I believe it's called, uh, pre-ordered. Um, and I also already have, of course, the Digimon Seekers, Doramon, and Ryotomon set, uh, Sons of Chaos, and Digipolis set pre-ordered as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great day and take care.